and welcome to another Things to Watch While Waiting for Stranger Things 3. This time we're going to be looking at Poltergeist. This is Steven Spielberg and, uh, well, for that second one, isn't it? But mostly uh, Steven Spielberg movie. Um, basically, this is the, uh, the Demogorgon and other bits of uh, the movie based around it. Um, that's definitely a scene from Stranger Things 2, isn't it? When uh, she's watching the television. Um, anyway. You've got Poltergeist. Definitely a good movie to watch. I wouldn't watch the third one. I'd recommend the first two. Okay? The first two. The third one. Oh, just leave that out. Just, just don't even go with it. It's terrible. You've got them up. You've got ghosts and evil enemies in a tower block don't work um, yeah the, it's basically a business building I'd call it and uh, ha well, none of the actors apart from the little girl are in the last one um, but yes came out in 1983 same year as E.T. Um, definitely one of the best known movies of the 80s if you haven't seen it I don't know where you've been for the last uh, 30 odd years now enough because this is the 25th anniversary edition. Uh, yes, uh, anyway, let's take a look. I'm moving over a little bit because uh, I've got a hot back and the sun's burning. Uh, yes, so DVD, you can get the Blu ray. Um, special features. Um, anyway, playful at first but not for long. A storm erupts, a tree attacks, and a little cow around feeling is whisked into a spectral void as her family confronts horrors galore. <laughs> Something else is here too. A new benchmark in Hollywood ghost stories. Produces Steven Spielberg and Frank Marshall and director Tobe Hooper. I've heard of that name before. Head of the elite scream team of this classic. Welcome to Home Sweet Haunted Home. Definitely a one to watch. Um, as I said, He's best known for, for this, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And uh, that'll be in an upcoming review because uh, if you've seen Stranger Things 2, there's a lot of Close Encounters. They've even made a poster look very Close Encounter-ish. Um, yeah. And it's also a bit of Stranger Things, the first season, because uh, the wood's a bit, when I'm looking for well, similar to uh, when the mum... Anyway, that's the total different story, that is. Mac 2, Poltergeist. First two, I'd recommend. As I said before. Um, if you haven't read the book, um, there's a lot more action going on in the book. Um, uh, fun fact about this film franchise also is that it's um, cursed. Uh, most of the, the actors are in it are dead. Um, for unfortunately, you've got the the, the uh, sister from the first film, who unfortunately died within what was it the premiere of it? Uh, something to do with her boyfriend, killing her. Uh, let's move on. You've got the Carol Ann herself. Unfortunately, she died. Yeah, uh, you'd probably see it if you look at the first film and the third film. You can see there's something wrong with her. Um, unfortunately, she passed away. Uh, shall I carry on? <laughs> You've also got the uh, the guy from the second movie that plays the creepy guy with the hat. <laughs> the um, well, it turns out to be the beast, and he he also he also died. He had cancer at the time as as he was filming it. Um, yeah. Shall I go on? No, I'll leave it at that. Anyway, if you want to know a bit more about it, I'd recommend going on some websites and having a look. So, definitely get the first two movies. You'd want to watch them. Uh, third film, nah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and goodbye.